Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Give It A Go. Today we're checking out a game called Time Wasters. It is another arena survival game, horde survival game, or as some people call it a bullet heaven, but which this is definitely not. This is more close to an actual bullet hell than any other game actually. But let's jump in. I played a couple of uh, rounds for it because this game starts off extremely extremely hard and it would not have made for a fun video if I played straight from the start. So I've unlocked a couple of things. I've got two captains already. Both of these start with different skills. And one of them has actually had missions completed. There's apparently more missions. Someone's, uh, some people say it's like the first, uh, what's it, arena survival with missions. That's definitely false. Uh, in fact, uh, I've seen so many people cover this and hype it as one of the best arena survivals so far. And I struggle to see where that comes from. I'm a big fan of the time in brackets. Uh, the company that made all the time games like times. Um, what is it? Let me quickly go check. There we go. It's time clickers. A clicker game. That's one of the games I made. A very good clicker game if you like clicker games. But the follow up the sequel for that time warpers that's a lot lot better and that's probably the best game they've made so far including this <laughs> so i have no idea why people hype, uh, hype this game up so much but we'll hop in and see um again the time warpers since i'm talking about that uh it's a clicker first person clicker game but it hypes up uh, ramps up so good and there's so much content and stuff in that i've got probably uh, over 300 hours in that anyway let's hop into this game and see what it was. Uh, what's it about? Time wasters. I can select my captain if it allows me. Why does the controller not work anymore? All right, I've got it working for now. So let's hop right back in. We're gonna start the game with Azure Rene. She shoots plasma cannons. Let me just quickly show you this character. Vermillion shoots fireballs. Top in, confirm. So you immediately start. The uh, main objective is basically to survive as long as you can. You collect the time cubes, they're basically your currency. And the gold you collect is your levels. I still have to learn the controls with a controller. Uh, there's your level up. As I said, the more gold you get, the more you level up. You don't actually buy anything with a gold, which is counterintuitive, but you buy stuff with the cubes. There is different planets that give different bo bonuses. Uh, at the start, there's pretty much none of them give any bonuses. You have to complete missions to unlock them, like the Super Plasma Cannon. Unlock this uh, guy by completing uh, missions with my main character. Got two level ups. Let's increase my plasma per second. Quickly remove the mouse. Okay, so we've got a 7 DPS increase, which is not a lot. And you can do shot spring increase, that's also not a lot. Plasma spread uh, decreases the plasma spread, which is pretty good. But at the moment, I don't have a lot, so I need more shots. Plasma per shot, two. That sounds a lot better. So now I shoot five bullets per shot. That is a. That icon that I just picked up is a whole lot of gold. This guy that's following me everywhere, he collects all the gold that I don't, and I have to kill him to get all the gold back. See that? Now, there is manual aim also, which in the controller is pretty easy. In the, uh, with the mouse, you have to hold right click, I believe. Or left click, one of the clicks you have to hold in the direction. But uh, basically, it's auto aim any other time anyway, so... Let's increase my plasma per shot even more. You see that's a big DPS increase. And then I'll also take more health since I've already lost health. And this game gets extremely difficult. Wave 10 is always the same every 10 waves. You get surrounded by these guys. Now I've seen some people sneak in between them. I haven't found a way to do that. Not reliably anyway. 
and these guys as you can see is already pretty freaking strong but it's a uh, like all the other guys you just have to wait a little while and they disappear so at the top right you can see your wave counter going up the more waves you uh, go through the harder it gets i'm gonna specifically ignore certain objectives now just to show you the base game before i start getting into the deeper things let's level up this planet that i'm at now uh, let's quickly see if they this 93 percent more plasma sure this pla planet that i'm at now the uh, every time i kill enemies in this uh, orbit of this planet i get more gold for it that's uh, usually a really good place to start farming but all the planets have buffs like this like this is gold refinery it just gives you a lump sum of gold uh, every couple of i think it's exactly a minute every 60 seconds you can go back this one gives you a time cube every second uh, every minute i'm gonna go back i need one more level to unlock that i'm gonna go back to this planet you can upgrade all the planets also in your upgrade system if you're lucky enough like this is a uh, uh, whole planet a whole repair planet uh, upgrade sometimes you don't want that because it also fills your uh, quote-unquote deck full of cards that you might not want like this uh, damage for players it increases the damage they do which is pretty good they do do a lot of damage but you have to increase the amount of turrets they have first to actually be useful okay so that big guy um the golden guy that stole all my currency is gone now got another time cube plasma spread there comes a, a time where your plasma spread gets so low that it collapses into it itself so let's increase the shoot shots per minute and damage for plasma that's pretty good yeah got six levels from that so let me show you the plasma spread collapsing into itself i think it should now focus on a single point for this part um increase my max hull, hull. and then a big nova upgrade the nova is pretty good more damage oh this is also a pretty big level okay now no it's it's straight focused so i don't know if you just noticed i <laughs> accidentally collected that this planet here that is a space cube planet uh it spins a roulette every two minutes or so oh god i didn't actually collect the space cubes they are the most important cubes to collect this is your first uh elite as a fight it's pretty easy it's turn slowly but if you stand still for too long he's gonna shoot lasers that pretty much instant kill you but you just have to shoot either side of him and then you can shoot his main hole and he goes down pretty quickly you can see the red increasing that's how much uh, damage is taken already or you can just look at the top the enemies here are still pretty strong i haven't gotten enough uh, damage upgrades to be uh, helpful at least so so this this part of the game is very addicting the problem with it is it takes quite a while i think i did about 10 runs before i got to this part and then you're stuck on this part for hundreds of runs because you don't get a lot of upgrades <laughs> the upgrades ramp up uh, or the amount of stuff you need ramps up a lot it's uh, again they f follow the formula of the normal uh games that they usually make the cookie clicker games where you're gonna have to ascend a lot to actually be useful and with most of our games that's not uh, really what i look for at least in in a survivor game i got a quick heal there got six level up so let's uh focus on this get some nova get some static field range more damage that thing is doing a lot of damage but it still only has one okay so if i take this one it's gonna focus on in on itself but let's let's do more damage first because the spread is pretty good at taking out a lot of enemies where if you focus too much it only focuses on a single enemy at a time which is good for bosses but terrible for uh, groups of enemies like this upgrade nova size nice 
can see the Novas don't do a lot of damage and they don't hit a lot of things at the moment, but you can quickly ramp it up to get a lot more Nova shots. You can reroll also with the time cubes. Let me quickly check how many how many time cubes I have. Plasma per shot. Now we're talking. Now I'm shooting a lot of plasma. I'm almost at level thir uh, wave 30, which is going to be the surrounding level again. Uh, where am I? You can see on the radar, or, or, or not the radar, but all around this little indicators to show you where to go, where all the planets are. Okay. Planet did not want to get stuck in here now, but it's okay. These guys can, as I said, quickly overwhelm you and surround you and then you're stuck because you can't dodge through enemies for some reason. Dodging also does not make you invulnerable. You have to get upgrades to actually just take a little bit less damage. Ah, let's get the magnet. There's a shop. Come on, go into the shop. Some damage there, unfortunately. Uh, the things you buy in the shop uh, is usually a lot stronger than the upgrades you, you normally get. Like this is a big recharge delay and max shield, so I might take take this action. No, cannot afford anything else, so I'm gonna run away. I've only got one dash at the moment, also that might be why I'm getting stuck. Now this is uh, another mechanic they brought in uh, recently. Well, I say recently in in my gameplay loop. Uh, your planets get attacked. I haven't seen what happened yet if they win, because I always get overwhelmed by these groups of enemies that's almost impossible to kill. As I said, look how easy you get surrounded. Now they're gonna have to take that planet, because there's nothing I can do with that. Uh, let's take a block one damage and boosting shots per second. And then let's do more static field damage. Damage for player level. I still only have one turret. There we go. One more turret. That should help a little bit at least. Let's get some more gold in here. Uh, actually, first let's click this. One upgrade. Might as well increase the range of the static field. Yeah, now I'm doing a little bit more damage. But still not enough to get rid of them. And I'm quickly going to get overwhelmed. Damage for plasma. It's not a big... Big increase, but it's better than nothing. Static field damage, sure. We get as much gold as I can and then get killed <laughs> almost immediately. So that's the gameplay loop, basically. You always get to a certain point, you get stuck, you die. You upgrade a little bit. That's the normal uh, meta progression, like in most, uh, what's it, roguelikes like this? The survival roguelikes? The only difference is, most of the time, you're not going to get lucky and get space cubes. Because you only have a certain chance to roll for space cubes. And the space cubes is what you need to further in the meta progression. And you need a lot, very quickly. All these cost, cost one, and now they cost a lot more. You're going to do a lot of extra runs to get absolutely no progress. Uh, chance for elite cubes to drop more, that's, that's good. Crit damage is probably a good thing to take at least one crit damage. Or just get more shields, maybe. Something is wrong with the controller. It's not controlling as well. Oh well. So I can also upgrade the planets, which is pretty good. Yeah, the controller stopped working completely now. So let's just switch to mouse and keyboard because I can't work like that. <sighs> We've got hull repair, uh, the gold vault just gives a gold multiplier. Uh, extra turret is pretty nice and damage. Well, I still haven't unlocked the, the planet though. That's the thing. And I, yeah, the captain skills cost one and then seven for the second level is incre uh, yeah, incredibly expensive. Uh, I'm gonna take maybe some more gold from asteroids and then a single crit chance just to see what it's like. And let's hop right in. 
I'm gonna do let's do one with a with a vermilion. Uh, skill is pretty terrible in my books. It's basically a worse nova or not nova. Uh, what's that electric attack? Static attack because you only have a small radius again and you shoot little fireballs, which is not that strong. Tab to increase, Let's increase the damage, and uh, yeah, so static field is just better in every single way, as you can see, you can immediately kill all these enemies, instead of waiting for that little fireballs to do anything. So I have not enjoyed any game of match I've played with this character so far, but maybe I'm misunderstanding the character, so attack speed obviously makes it a little bit faster, but still not as fast as just standing still and letting the static wave take care of everything. Look at that. If I actually do it on this planet, it would be nice, but okay. Just need to be careful with a big red guy. And now that asshole stealing my gold. So let's get the time cube. There's loose time cubes also all over the map, but as far as I've seen, it's way too far out uh, from any other planet here. Or any of the useful planets that you have to be uh, close to all the time. So I've got six levels, I just noticed. Uh, let's increase my max boosts. Let's do more. Let's do some rockets. Rockets. Fireball range, sure. Five uh, rockets per second. No, I'm not going to take another weapon. So let's do... How many cubes? One. Let's do fireball damage. You can still see. It does quite a lot of damage when it gets to a certain level, but this is the first of these kinds of enemies. and They're not nearly as strong as the others, and I'm, immediate, uh, I'm already struggling, so. Static field slows enemies, sure. So a little bit late if they come into this close range. We start slowing enemies. Go. Quickly go to this planet. See, yeah. The space cube locator. You have to look. 45% chance to get it. I got nothing. Quickly get the magnet. Click anything else that I've dropped. Almost nothing. We got some. Uh, these are all not that good. Especially, I'm going to quickly get surrounded by the these little white white dudes I did take some damage yeah I took way more damage now so let's get the hull repaired and it even didn't even repair me full uh, let's quickly run to the gold planet oh never mind let's get a time cube max fireballs increased now I do a little bit more damage with the fireballs but Still not enough to be a viable thing, as you can see. Controls are pretty terrible with a keyboard and mouse. It literally only have the, the cardinal directions. But unfortunately, my controller is acting up for some reason, so stuck with this. So, lead boss time, and I've got a lot of enemies still on the screen, unfortunately. This is probably not going to be good. Although this is the furthest I've ever made it with this character, so I've never made it to the lead boss. This character. Let's get another time cube. Got two upgrades. More rockets, sure. And a little bit more static field. Maybe that will help. is helping with these guys at least. but as you can see the circle is also shrinking so it don't take too long oh 
Bible range. Sure. I doubt it's gonna help in this picture, but oh well. Ooh, I'm cute. Thank you. We can just destroy one of the weapons. Could it help? Just aim for it now. You see, there's so little damage. <laughs> there we go. One more max fireball. Let's kill the golden guy. Just get a couple of levels from him also. There we go. Five levels, nice. Rockets, uh, fireball damage, rockets, attack speed. And charge for a second. We could get the time cube. So I am doing a lot more damage now, but still not enough. Speed even more. This is helping a little bit. There we go. We two space cubes. And more time cubes. I've got eight time cubes, so let's go to the shop. I can also definitely go get more space cubes, hopefully. Uh, more rockets. Uh, let's give more shields. Oh no, they're attacking this. The most important planet, actually. I have to take care of this, unfortunately. So random. Can I just tank this and just take it out with a fireball? Hopefully. to escape. There's too many of these guys. Go back. Quickly, 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 quickly. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Still taking too long. Uh, fireball range, fireball damage. Let's increase the damage. Get more levels. Nice. None of these are going to help me, so let's reroll. Static field, sure. Rockets per second and block damage while boosting. Sure. Need to take care of these guys. Quick, 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 quick. No. Yes. Oh. Ah, uh, white little white guys. They showed up. You didn't even notice them. Anyway, finished with that character. Now let's see what upgrades I can get. Not a lot. Let's increase my damage then. And we got that two space cubes. So let's switch back to Azure. She's a lot, uh, Azurine at least, a lot better of a character. Let's upgrade. Damage plasma. Uh, so I don't need that one. But this one I do need. You can get the space cube. 65% chance. Oh, that's the worst one it could roll. The different colors also uh, mean... Uh, oh, not me. Different colors also uh, get you different amounts of space cubes. So the dark blue gets you only one. The light blue gets you uh, three. And the, the white area gets you five cubes. Quickly get more upgrades, damage per shot. I need something else than that. I need more bullets, but okay. And uh, gold magnet range, sure. Let's see if I can pick up a little bit more gold easy. Uh, static field is always nice for the little ones. These guys. Quickly collect everything. Now, I think the orange uh, circle you see around me is my gold pickup range. I think. I'm still 
haven't determined that. So let's do a little bit of exploring and collect the, the rest of the time cubes all over here. You can see there's nothing else here. It's just dead space, so to speak. And eventually you loop back onto the planet where you've already been. Oh, now I'm stuck in this area. Yeah, I'm going to need to take that because at the moment I have nothing else doing damage. I only get this damage for plasma, but I don't get more plasma, unfortunately. Take more range. Ah, there we go. More plasma per shot. This is a little bit better. It's still very spread out, unfortunately. But I should be able to survive at least a little bit. I mean, each of those plasma are, is doing a lot of damage. Ah, more plasma per shot. More plasma per shot plus damage. This is the captain special. I'll definitely take that one, rather. Uh, I don't know if there's any use in destroying this. How do I think about it? Have I ever destroyed any of these? No idea. That was actually beneficial. So the spread is now almost off the screen. And let's quickly go pitch my cube. Magnet. Time cube. Gold planet, so let's click like this. And I believe I can get something from the shop. Let's quickly go for that. I have exactly five, so I cannot reroll. Uh, let's just take the fire fireballs. It might be useful close up for some of these stronger enemies like this guy that gets destroyed right there. Seven levels. Nice. Okay, so. Recharge is quicker. Static field range. Plasma push up. Another upgrade. Nice. That's a big, big upgrade there. Fireball uh, damage. Hmm. One extra. Let's do more faster recharge with that. Max fireballs. Gold find. More cooldown on the refinery. Let's block damage. More fireball range. Always the better option. Uh, mm, this is also pretty good though. Increasing the damage and more. Just actually have to use that planet. Thing is, the icon at the top where you see the wave. I wish it was straight in the middle at the top. Where I can actually not look away from the action. Because I never see what wave it is until it's too late. And now it's wave 20 is coming, so the boss is coming. So I obviously have to run. Where is that planet? Here we go. There we go. That was not good. Took a lot of damage, but look at him die now. Plasma spray, let's lower it a little bit and recharge a second. Quickly remove all these guys. There we go. This should be an easy kill now. Uh, even more plasma shots? Sure. That's even faster. Can wipe these guys now. Let's get my space cube. And another time cube. How many do I have? Three. Uh, what planet is under attack? Is the, the hull repair one. That's usually the one that's being damaged. I think you can just stand here and should take care of them. As long as it's quick enough for the, the little white guys come. Well, magnet range. Let's increase the rockets. I think this is a, a nice range. 
Now I have to be quick because I know they come on the next wave. Come on, damage them, damage them, damage them, damage them. There we go. And I need the hold. Oh, there we go, hold repair. There we go, and another hold repair. And that was just, just in time. Quickly go up here, uh, collect this one. Any space cubes I can still click. No, oh, here comes the, the white guys. Oh no. There we go. Just take the spin. 20% chance is almost nothing, but it does increase every time you get it, uh, the, the chance to get more. And one of these circles again. I'm taking care of all the, the little bullets. Oops, I think I just hit that guy. Let's take some static view, let's take some shots per second. Not a lot of increase in damage there, but all my clues, let's go. Let's try and glue, glue them or lure them here, not glue them here. Come on, shoot, 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 shoot. Nope, still not enough damage. Damage with plasma. Oh, that's a space cube. Uh, not a space cube, but a time cube. It's taking longer than it should. There we go. Uh, see, you cannot dodge where you want to with a keyboard and mouse all the time, so. But screwed over there. Got more upgrades. Let's upgrade. Still don't know. Did I unlock that planet? No idea. I think these power-ups are still a bit better for now. Those are, that's the only one you can pick up. Gold Vault Multiplier. Let's get more turrets going. Gee, next one is 14. So as you can see, already it's getting way too expensive to get anything. And I really dislike that in a survivor game. But for some reason, everyone is stark raving mad about this game. It is extremely cheap though, so maybe that's one of the factors. How do I think about it? There we go. Uh, plasma per shot. Shots per second. Oops, I have no idea what I got in the last one. Extra... Uh, Ooh, four plasmas per shot. This should take care of all of these guys. More max shield. Definitely take care of this guy also. Look at him steal all stuff. Great from me. I'm not doing a lot of damage though. Let's quickly get my space cubes if I am so lucky. Yeah, 45 is a chance to get a single one is not worth it. As you saw, you're wasting about 10 minutes to for a single cube now. Now, if it is like any of the other time type time-based games <laughs> then there usually is a big ramp up on the amount you collect per round but so far i haven't seen that 
there's only the one thing that makes you get like a 2% chance to get oh no, a 10% chance to get 2 instead of 1 so that's only doubling and that's only from elite bosses so that's only doubling the elite boss drops come on, I want that gold guy Gold multiplier from the vault? No, I don't care about the vault guy. These are all bad though. Give me something that actually helps me. Kinda wanna remove the whole repair planet thing because it takes up so many of the upgrade slots that I need. Uh reach charge delay. Yeah. Let's try and get my shield recharge up a lot. I don't know. I was about to say, might as well wait for the time cube to go, be ready, but apparently I'm not allowed to wait there. There's still some of the white guys left from the first uh, 10 waves. So bad, uh, so badly is my damage at the moment. Need the damage upgrades. Actually, I'm gonna get the hull uh, repair also. There we go. I think there's been an update to the game also since I've played yesterday. I'm gonna have to go check. Because I'm pretty sure the hull repair repaired 60 every time you picked it up, and now it repairs only 15 actually completely useless that's even more reason to remove it <laughs> from the deck super plasma planet well apparently i have a super plasma planet now so oh this is super plasma planet. think about the nova planet there we go Just see if I can kill all these guys quickly. Yeah, okay, this should be fine. Not a lot of these guys left, although all of them are stuck behind <laughs> the, uh, the bullets there. Oh, I'll repair, nice. Uh, that's not a shot, even better. levels my planet is under attack again ah oh, it's the most important one once more so let's see shots per second ah oh, yes focus a little bit please recharge more shield so a slightly bigger upgrade there then Got enough dodges. Use my max hull more. Turrets. Uh, focus more. More damage. Ah, oh, this is what it's like. This is what it's supposed to be like, yeah. Look at that. If I focus on them, they go down very, very quickly. Now I've got damage. Although I only have one weapon might be a problem we've got a very very strong weapon come on come on come on there we go give me the space cube come on yeah 20 percent chance not a chance got a time cube got a gold refinery and another time cube so i can go shopping to get rid of this guy i'm not doing a lot of damage to him There we go. Uh, bah, 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 bah. So this is the Nova. I'm tempted to take more recharge rate, but maybe just take some Nova just to 
get rid of some of the, the clutter of the rest of the guys. Oh, here comes a lot of white guys. Need to get to the shop, that's what. what I remember now. And get some old repair. There's the shop. Oof, look at that the max hole increase. Take that. That's amazing. I can almost shoot through these guys now. I'm gonna try and keep shooting that way. Get rid of these guys as fast as possible before they start hoarding up. Another hull repair. I've got way too much hull now. I think to actually considerably repair all of it. Get some time cube. I've got five so I can go shopping again. That was not what I meant to do there. Let's, let's take the rockets. I think I need some more weapons. Almost repair my hull again. Space key was almost ready also. Ooh, look at all these stuff. All the gold all, all over here. Oh, level up, four levels. Focus. There we go. I think one more focus is fine. Recharge delay. Nova. Nova, an extra turret, that's the final turret for that planet. Ah, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Look at me, almost dying instantly there. If I had any less health, I would be dead. I think I focused too much. <laughs> I need this planet now to help me. Oof, no, I'm not nearly ready for the shop yet. Damage shots per second. Which one gets the most? This one. Just. Barely more damage. Single level there. Uh, extra boost. Defense. Ooh. Maybe more space cube. So I've only gotten two and it's the next boss. I have never seen this boss before, so something new for me. So far I'm unable to get to the boss though. All these st stupid tanky enemies in the way. more Novas. If only gets rid of all these guys. Jeez. Go, 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 go. See how quickly I can shoot all of them down. There we go. Well, now it should be a lot easier. Shoot enough shots to just take that guy down. Pretty sure. Yeah, look at his health. Pretty much dead. Again, only one space cube. It took like 10 minutes longer. And it's the same damn planet, is it? Again under attack. Let me see if I can get more levels, but apparently not. So, uh, recharge, gold pickup. Yeah, sure. Let's get more gold pickup. Just focus on one of these guys, please. This guy has a shield. Oh, well, his shield is gone. And I'm dead. I thought I could survive it. This is also a bug. You can still upgrade after you're dead. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop there. This has been a look at Time Wasters. Uh, 
very fun uh, arena survival, but as I said, I have no idea what the hype is about where every other YouTuber or streamer is going crazy about this game. It's average at best. <laughs> Okay, except that it's extremely cheap and as i said uh, of all the time games that these guys have released this is by far well not by far the worst one uh, and i just don't think it's by, by far not the best one so anyway I, I hope you've enjoyed this video and find it interesting see you guys again in the next let's give it a go goodbye